I very much live in the world of the character when I'm making a film. I'm quite removed from the actual world that I'm existing in in order to create something different. I love something that is powerful and has a lot of character. Today we are doing a modern take on the 30s. That look of deconstructed glamour that I love so much. The first tip is that when you have enormous eyebrows like mine, they need to be combed, and often. That's what you do. And you need a professional to do it. <laughs> what are we starting with? I'm going to apply it in the middle of the eye, quite densely. Uh -huh. With a bigger blending brush, I will go into the socket line and take it out and up. It's not too defined and it's concentrated more in the inner corner, so it's a rounder shape. And look up, please. I put a little bit underneath and then smudge it. Sometimes I just use my finger to pat it. That's my tip. Certain looks are better when I'm more lived in. Why almost always your makeup looks better the morning after? That's become part of you as well. Yeah, when I do my own makeup, I get far too confused to use brushes, so I always only ever use my fingers. And partly because it makes me feel happy because I feel like a kid finger painting. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure you get the inner corners as well. You still want to see yourself through the makeup. Yeah, those clever nice. nuances that you yeah. add. So I guess modern is less. I forgot to do eye makeup without putting a funny face. <laughs> I'll just go slightly over the edges of your natural shape. Mm -hmm. Because using a dark color sometimes can make them look a little smaller. And then we'll color the entire lip so it is a good base. That's a good tip. Not just for screen kisses. Just for life. Just for life. Great tips for life. <laughs> Smile. What did Coco Chanel so, say? Mademoiselle used to say, put your red lipstick on and attack. It's an amazing idea, isn't it? It's very true because if I've had a bad day, then the only thing to do is put red lipstick on and go out into the world. My film obsessions have always been Catherine Hepburn, Bette Davis, Jean Moreau, Isabelle Arjani. You can do very subtle things that will give you hints about character to that face. You have to be very precise about what the makeup says. My idea of beauty is something that is totally true to itself. They're women that I recognize, that I maybe want to be, that really glory in the emotional turmoil and the surprising twists and turns that are part of a woman's life.